All right, what's up, y'all? It's Kenny Cummins here, Channel and Kenny C. Happy to be joined with one of my favorite wrestlers. She's definitely making a name for herself. She's making big moves. And, you know, it seems like this has become a tradition, regardless of what podcast I'm doing. Every time I need a guest here and there, I reach out to this lady, and she always comes through in the clutch. So I'm very happy to have her on. She goes by the name of Jocelyn Navarro. She's with me right now. What's good? What's up? How are you? Good, good. Good to chat with you yet again. This definitely feels like a tradition at this point. I always tend to have you on right around the you know, early spring, late winter-esque. But uh, how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm alive, you know. <laughs> That's good. Good to chat with you and uh, catch up with you on some things here and there. Uh, you got a lot in store, obviously. You've done a lot recently. Uh, so I want to catch up on some things before we get into what you have in store in the coming weeks and so. Uh, you've been very busy. You've had matches with Lufisto. You've had match with Thunder Rosa. Uh, you you even made an appearance in AEW. Uh, so, yeah. with all that being said, how are you feeling about everything that's unfolding? How's everything going on? Um, uh, you know, I'm just taking everything day by day. You know. Uh, I'm happy that I'm getting all these opportunities and stuff. Uh, but I'm all, I'm remembering, you know, it's like it's it's been exciting. It's been ner- it's been like nerve wracking and stuff. But yeah. I've been working a long time for these opportunities, so I'm finally getting this. And there's no slowing down from here. We just want to come up, you know. That's what I like to hear. You're definitely on the come up. Um, you've definitely been traveling. You've been in Ohio. You've been in Indiana. You've been in other areas as well. So, you know, I'm always paying attention. Um, so I'm definitely, I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. Um, just what you've been able to accomplish. You know, I've definitely been supportive for the last six, seven years. You know, it's just just incredible. You definitely have blossomed and evolved uh, and getting more opportunities. Uh, so with the AEW experience, um, I think it was a tag team match you did. Um, so just, and it was in Ohio, I believe. It was during the beach break event. There was festivities that was going on. Uh, so just... Talk a little bit about that experience. What was it like just just being part of an AEW platform, per se? Um, it was definitely fun. Um, hopefully, you know, I get assigned to one of these big promotions soon. It was, um, it was, it was fun from the standpoint of I know a lot of people that are currently signed to AEW, like being friends with them or, you know, wrestling a few of them or, or, you know, just coming up the ranks with them. So being able to go into my friend's work environment and see how things work from the big promotion standpoint is pretty cool. And it's pretty cool to see my friends be able to live out their dreams and, um, hopefully, you know, I'm up next. Yeah, Tony Khan, he tends to sign one person per week, signing just anybody and everybody that's out there. So I'm just saying, Tony, if you, you if you need some more additions to that woman division, you know, get get Nav- Miss Naval up in there, you know. You know, get get her in there. With Velvet's there, Jay Cargill's there, um, you know, Britt, Thunder Rosa. I think you got some unfinished business with her. 
She is challenging for the women's championship on Wednesday. So I'm just saying, like, you you never know. You know, I'm I'm, I'm all y'all need to want that back because I see some highlights of that uh, match and uh, there was it was fun to watch. It was very very must see. Definitely very impressed with that match. Uh, so you know, just saying, Tony Khan, with your big budget <laughs> self. Hook, hook my girl up. That's what I'm saying. Hook my friend up. Uh, get, get, the, get the contract out there. Just saying. Um, so, with everything is happening for you right now, um, you was also at Indiana as well. You had a busy weekend there too. Uh, I know you had a match scheduled with Cassandra Golden. Of course, it got canceled because of Mother Nature. Which, you know, I'm a certified hater with the Mother Nation. <laughs> we, I think we all are at this point. Um, so have you heard anything as far as, I know you faced her in another promotion recently, but as far as the one up in Jeffersonville, because that, I'm trying to get there. Like once that match be scheduled with y'all two, I'm going to be there and then see that up in person. So have you got any word as far as that match being um, rescheduled for PPW? Um, I'm not sure. Um, they tried to reschedule it for March 4th, but uh, we both wound up not being able to, to do it. So um, we did wind up wrestling a week later, but in Florida. But, um, but I don't know when the next time it will be able to happen like in the Midwest, but I absolutely love wrestling. Her. She's she's great. She's a um, wonderful personality, wonderful girl, woman. She's a wonderful woman. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I I will I will wrestle her any day of the week. She's great. Yeah, Cassandra Jocelyn. You know that's 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 money. That's money making match right there. You two going at it, good battle, different styles here and there. You know the black girl magic. You know what I mean. So, and I like what I see from PPW in Jeffersonville. Um, I know some friends that keep spreading the word about it. So I need to get to a PPW show in Jeffersonville. But once they reschedule, y'all, I'm there. I'm there. I haven't. We only seen each other once, and that was in Louisville. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, oh my God. I'm probably a good five years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm traveling a lot more this year than I've had in years past. So I go to Jefferson every now and then. So. Yeah, once that match is rescheduled for that promotion, I'm there. Just, I'm on record. I am there. If I have anything planned beforehand, I'm just saying, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't be with y'all. I got to go see Jocelyn and Cassandra. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> s my bad. Like, yeah, I need to see that. So, um, so I see you in for a busy... Uh, this coming weekend, so let let the people know what you have uh, planned uh, this coming weekend with all the March Madness that's going on. Um, I'm going to be in Memphis the whole weekend. I'm going to be at Liberty Liberty Pro Wrestling. So that should be fun. This will be my first time working with them. Uh, they tried to get me in sometime last year, but I had something to do. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm flying into Memphis Friday. Oh wait, oops, <laughs> I just supposed to, it's supposed to be live. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be in Memphis, um, Liberty Pro. But like I said, yeah, I'm excited to work with them. Um, it's a couple of women that are gonna be there. Um, that I know, and they've said good things about Liberty Pro, so I'm looking forward to 
working with them as well. Yeah, I know some people behind the scenes for that particular promotion. Um, they do a good job um, as far as treating the woman well and uh, make sure everybody, you know, do what they got to do. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Booking matches, custom matches, if you will. Um, you know, because we on, we on social media all the time. You always see dream matches and whatnot. But now you get to make that into a reality. You get to be a booker. You get to determine the outcome and stuff. So, uh, so, time of people to put their money where their mouth is, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you 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 be the booker. Uh, so there's so much to look forward to. Um, you know, for wrestling, all these promotions, all these opportunities. Definitely good to see um, some black woman prosper uh, as well. You know, Jay called girl doing her thing undefeated. Bianca going with Becky for WrestleMania. And now I see Naomi and Sasha teaming up, trying to get those women tag team titles. We might get three black women ended up champions by WrestleMania weekend after and that's a year after what happened last year with Sasha and Bianca. So, black woman can draw y'all, in case y'all forgot. Uh, they can draw, they can make money, they can do big things for you all. Just give them a chance. Let, let them prosper. Let them do what they do. You know, watch them work. Um, so, that, that's got to be a big deal as far as you know, black woman just doing incredible things in professional wrestling. Um, not just as a fan, but as a wrestler. It's definitely a good time to be a black woman in wrestling, ain't it? It sure is. Um, I'm so excited. Like, I was speaking to, I can't remember who I was talking to, but I was saying it's so dope to see that in um, WWE, AEW, and in Impact, like, the black women are just like on the forefront right now. Um, so it's, and, and then like majority of them, like they, not only are they black and it's, it's really not a difference. Like, okay, it's cool. Like skin, dark skin, whatever. But like, it's nice to see uh, dark skin black girls on the forefront also, because we have it even harder than, than everybody else do. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really not like I'm, I'm so behind, like, Jay, because not only is she, not only she dark skinned, but she's also Jamaican, so that's, I'm double behind that, but, like, it's, it's, it's nice to really see, like, why a bunch of women that look like me come from the same backgrounds I come from, um, face the same hardships and realities I face, are killing it in three different major promotions right now that everybody watches, so it's super dope that that's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jade, especially, making a name for herself. Uh, from the match she had, teaming up with Shaq, going up against, uh, I think, Brandy and Cody. Uh, and Shaq went through a table. I didn't think they was going to let Shaq go through all that. But he did, and props to Shaq for doing that. He's the entertainer that he is. But Jade, yeah, she's... She's just the real deal. Like, she's just everything that she's just picture perfect, literally. Like, undefeated and all. So, I like what I see from Jay, and I hope they keep um, pushing her, you know, and just see that she can do big, bigger things. Um, so, and I think my favorite part of Jay is when she won the title. And the camera show her daughter just seeing her, just in awe, just seeing her mom be the first TBS champion, being the first black woman champion in AEW history. You know, that's that's memories that's gonna last forever, you know, and she gonna look back at it years from now and go all grown up and be like, Man, I was there for, for mama winning that title on that night. It's just special. It's really, really special. Um, 
I'm also joined with the one and only Jocelyn Navarro here. And you know, Jocelyn, in all the years we do these interviews, I can't go through this interview without talking a, a, a particular team that holds near and dear to our hearts. You live in Ohio. You represent Ohio. I used to live there, but I still bleed scarlet and gray every day, the Ohio State. So let's just let's just address the elephant in the womb. That team went through some things last year. Not going to talk about a certain loss that happened, but you know we did end up winning the Rose Bowl. So that's that's that. But now it's on to the upcoming season. C.J. Stroud going through his sophomore year. And I do love those receivers that's coming. You know, Smith and Jibba, Harrison Jr., uh, and a couple other cats. But just looking back at that season, how you feel about the previous season and how you feeling going into the upcoming season for Ohio State? Um, man, um, first of all, uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> Jesus, um, Ohio State just, it hurt my feelings, uh, first of all, they, they lost to the state up north, yeah. um, very tragic, hurt my feelings, um, but I'm, I'm looking at this season, you know, with different light, you know. Hopefully we can bounce back and make it to the playoffs. Um, Michigan only beats us like once every 20 years, so I'm not worried about us losing to them again this year. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm I'm looking I'm praying for a successful season this year. Um, I know we can get it done. So I'm I'm. <laughs> um, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I, I just need them to, just, just to do better, be better this year. That's all. Yeah. Got faith in the offense, obviously. Shroud, Henderson, and those receivers, they going to be fine in that regard. They going to put points in bunches. It's the defense that I'm a bit worried about. Uh, Got a new defensive coordinator from Oklahoma State, Jim Knowles. Heard so much about him as far as improving defenses. So if he can just do his part there, then I don't know who's going to want to smoke with Ohio State. <laughs> I'm like, because the offense, we're going to put points in bunches. So Stroud's going to be a lot more confident. Anderson's going to be a beast. And those receivers are going to be a problem, especially Smith and Jibba. So my expectations is just, just being a hunt for the tournament, for the playoff. Win a Big Ten and just see where, where we go in the playoff picture. Because uh, I, I, I don't know. Alabama, Georgia, we could take them. We could take them. SEC. That's for sure. Yeah, so it's like it's, it's we we got this. We got this. Just the defense got to do that part. Uh it, we can't have another season where the defense allowed that many points and then you expect Ohio State to just offense to carry low. Defense has to hold their weight this coming season. So, and the defensive coordinator knows it. So, just hoping that things get better and beat the team up north, obviously. Given, you know, we yeah. get just, you know, they got that one win. Congrats, I guess. But next year, we come swinging. Notre Dame, I feel bad for them because we faced them <laughs> first. And the head coach used to be at Ohio State, and he said some things. Try to get his team wowed up. Okay, that's fine. But uh, we we come. You you gonna be at Columbus and you gonna you gonna get this whooping. 
You know, sometimes you right. just got to give people, <laughs> you got to give them a whooping. Like, you not being on their best behavior, going to be like that parent, you know, that mom and dad, and you just don't want to cooperate. Okay, where my belt at? Going to be like Pops for the Wayne's Brothers. Where my belt at? We're going to give them that whooping. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Uh, so, Jocelyn Navarro, check her out. She's on social media. She's on Twitter. At Joss. Um, what's, your, what's your handle? Joss underscore A Navarro? That's what it is? Yeah. Underscore E underscore Navarro. E, okay. East E, okay. And you on her Instagram. What's your handle on Instagram? Jocelyn underscore underscore Navarra. Gotcha. So check her out. She's going to be at Tennessee this weekend. And uh, check her out on both social media accounts. She'll uh, let you know when and where she'll come to a city near you and uh, give anyone and anybody the business. You know, don't don't mess with the Caribbean folks. Don't don't mess with them. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> uh, once the one called the Jam Walk is played, oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Great hearing from you, Jocelyn. Great chatting with you. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll go, we're going to cross paths eventually. Uh, so okay. it's, and I got the shirt. I still got the shirt. I'm going to wear that, uh, the orange shirt. And I'm going to wear the Ohio State hat. And uh, we, we, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Uh, but great chatting with you. Thank you so much, and uh, just keep keep doing your thing. I'm, I'm I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, that's going to conclude the interview. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Chilling with Kenny C, alongside with the Caribbean goddess Jocelyn Navarro. We out of here. Peace and love. And.